Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will explore the patterns. Uh, patterns are also some procedural uh, textures which we have with some controls in uh, that particular texture. So before going into that, uh, if I ask you that if Maya's Hypershade and uh, Substance Designer, which one do you feel more powerful in terms of procedural texturing? Or you have anything else like Blender or Houdini, which one? Do you believe that is more powerful in terms of creating procedural textures? Let me know. So let's uh, start with the patterns in the generator section and the uh, patterns here are basically um, a very powerful area where you can create all that textures in general what you try to create. So there are some 3D textures and some nodes which I would like to skip and uh, to, to start with I would like to go with alveolus uh, texture here so this looks like a honeycomb pattern so I'm connecting it to the output and then um, based on the tile you're not able to see it on the top but I'll just go and increase the tiles here okay let me right click and then view this in 3d So you should able to see that nice honeycomb pattern here okay so this is now uh, looking soft and round and becoming sharp at the edges that looks fair enough and then if I select this texture we have tiles as you have seen I have controlled that and then we have uh, gradient filled cells which is uh, going to be off by setting that true and then becomes a very sharp uh, texture here okay so you should able to see that okay so we have this int uh, interstice width which is going to increase the width and you should able to see you are able uh, you're getting that nice honeycomb pattern tiles ready to use and uh, it's just um, can be applied wherever uh, this kind of texture requirement is there uh, then we have arc pavement which is uh, again the it's like cobblestone pattern but it's more like arc uh, shaped arrangement so we have uh, different uh, options here a uh, big number of options first one i would like to do uh, discuss is about the sh uh, pattern shape the default one is the square I'm changing it to the disk we have uh, paraboloid which is again a soft uh, circle uh, then we have bell and uh, it is generally from the center to the edge the way fall off is uh, controlled is different from disk to paraboloid to bell Gaussian and then thorn okay so thorn gives you more sharp point uh, fall off so all are same uh, but they have different softness so let me go to the pyramid which is again giving me that nice faceted pyramid effect then we have brick then we have gradations okay gradation give me effect of one side of the tile is dipped into the ground and the other side is elevated above it so that's uh, the shape here so we have the size which you can increase and then make it more um, smaller in size then we have pattern amount so you're controlling the number of bricks here it's again um, you could able to see that full arc is not achieved here while I'm trying to scale it okay now you get the full uh, arc with small small bricks in it so it looks very nice in terms of creating any patterns 
then we have uh, pattern amount random which is basically doing what is uh, in one arc you are getting a different number of tiles then the other arc has got a less number of tiles so that is so anytime if you feel that you have touched a wrong uh, i mean you forgot what was the default value you can click and reset here to the original numbers okay just reset them pattern minimum amount i'll just see if uh, this will work with some other attributes so we have arc okay so you are controlling the arc size i'll reset it again and then we have pattern scale so it is controlling the size of this uh, width and height at a time whereas pattern width controls only the width of the tile and then height controls the height of the tile so again you can reset them pattern width randomness again every tile becomes different size in the width and you have height and global which is uh, all together uh, the tiles become random in size pattern height decrease you should able to see uh, in the edges the size is gradually decreasing there then we have color randomness which makes uh, some tiles completely elevated above the ground and some tiles are equal to the ground which is very important when it comes to uh, creating an organic looking pavement okay then we have uh, bricks there are three types of bricks here okay so their arrangement is slightly different that's it so this will this is having long brick and short brick this is having equal sized brick so you could able to see this one is having a long one and this one is having a small one brick so the scale can be controlled which is again tiling effect we have a smoothness which makes them soft and blurred then we have interstice width which increases the width of uh, the gap between them okay later adding filters on top of it can give you some amount of control then we have the next bricks which is uh, of equal the size again we have same options like uh, the scale the smoothness and the interstice width okay then we have this one which is having nice uh, bevel shape and has got more controls in comparison and then if you could see we have brick width and height 4 by 8 let me put it to 8 by 8 it becomes equal size okay and um, generally non-proportional scaling bricks you want you can generally try it here okay so 4 by 8 was the default then we have bevels if you don't want bevels you don't get the bevels there and then you should able to see very sharp bricks there okay then we have uh, smoothness how much you want that smoothness to happen okay can be seen it's basically affecting this roundness i need to see you should able to see that smoothness here okay and then uh, round corners are basically this area how you want them to be affected um, with that so I'll just reset this and then uh, we have uh, gaps you can increase the gaps here Then we have uh, middle size again when I change the middle size you are getting this so brick generator can give you both of this brick 1 and brick 2 
okay let, let's see if i increase the height and width you're getting one brick bigger and one brick smaller okay and you have the height variation then you have a slope variation that gives the the bricks uh, random uh, depths here okay so you should able to see that uh, tiles one is going to the ground level and it's it's like some brick is height and some side of the brick is lower so you have all these nice options here you can explore them then we have a checker pattern it's very simple texture you can generally rotate it to 45 degrees or you can control the tiles of it adding some filters on top can be a greater help so i'll directly go to the fibers which is again the texture related thing so i'm going to delete this and then explore the fibers so we have tiles where you can generally get this nice fibers in line the next one is basically having a, a tight gap in comparison with the if you could see the gap between one rope and the other rope is very tight and here there is a gap that's a fall off so you can try any uh, any of these textures so you have a uh, gaussian which is again a pattern here then increasing the tiles can give you nice spheres and uh, it, it can be quite useful when it comes to uh, creating some fl metal floors and then we have another Gaussian which is having a different fall off okay it's quite sharp comparing to the other so we have a set of gradients here okay so the gradient uh, has got x point number one and point number two and every point has got x position and y position you can change that with the slider or directly you can move them with the points selected interactively so this is a gradient axial and then we have reflected uh, gradient which is uh, giving me a, a a, a bar like object and then uh, again it has got same point one and point two so we have the radial gradient so we have gradients here and for every gradient we have a different node so we can select this point and this point here and then you can create a radial gradient and this gradient can be rotated clockwise counterclockwise as you require it then we have uh, a linear gradient okay we can increase the tiling of it can be very useful to create some roof tiles repeats then we have a uh, linear gradient but this is uh, falling off on both the edges can give you the effect of ribs and uh, forgot to say we have rotation for this 90 degrees and um, okay the difference here is uh, it it gives you the slope uh, kind of effect one side slope and another side elevated this one is giving a rib like effect so you have two different fall offs then we have another one which has got a tight fall off again so you can increase the repeats and you could see that gives me a sharp uh, bevel and then we have a position of this one side or the other side so you can move that uh, position here uh, let me see the gradient C is in the center so when I move it that's going on one side and here when I move that came on the downside very useful to create some wall or roof patterns then we have a rotation in this you can select the rotation also let me explore this uh, gradient here okay this is uh, again you can hold this point in and out 
point 1 and point 2 you have different types one is cone and one is hemisphere the only difference is the fall off I can say then I would like to go to the mesh directly from height extrude option so I select that and then you have a tiling option okay this is uh, greatly used in um, GI sheets which are having patterns specially used in public transports um, on the floor and all that area even if you could see this in factories also so we have another type of mesh which is uh, uh, more or less like a cloth uh, woven and then we have an angle in it it also gives me a soft bubble effect and we have a polygon which is very useful no remember this uh, hard so I'm going to select this and then we have a polygon here uh, we have this nice option called explore and also we have the option called scale you can scale it down so you can create this nice uh, patterns with the polygon now this is uh, six sided I can make it a three sided object and you should able to see there are so many possibilities here uh, if you are taking let's say only four sided object and then you can control the width uh, let me switch the explore result to reset I'll reset everything okay so you have this triangle size I'm reducing the triangle size here okay and then you should able to see I'm controlling this size here okay the X of that particular triangle and the Y of that triangle okay so you could see there are so many possible shapes where you can achieve even I got a star out of it then you can scale them and uh, you have rotation of that individual tiles then uh, we have gradiency and inverted gradiency then we have tiling of them okay so you got a very unique uh, texture out of it start exploring the um, sides of it okay and then you see very interesting floral patterns you have achieved with this polygon so we have another polygon which is having a fall off okay I'm increasing the patterns here so that you could able to see that nice faceted uh, design you can control the size and you can control the scale of it okay you can rotate them and then you have the curve which basically gives you the fall off and then roundness so you should see exploring this is generally giving you lot of ideas when it comes to um, creating patterns here you can choose inverted gradient and see uh, you got that nice flowers and then explore the sides also and see what all you get out of it and uh, lastly we have this uh, scratches and uh, scratches are basically used to apply scratches and then you have number of scratches in it then you got segments which you can control uh, when I generally distort it you should able to see the number of segments here are less I mean it's giving me hard lines there and uh, spline randomness distortions you have all these options explore it okay and try to get best out of these patterns uh, inside substance painter